Hi, I'm Lisa Weinstein and I'm a real estate broker in Chicago's luxury market. Today on Private Tour, I'm going to be talking about why it's a great time to build a single family home. As everyone knows in Chicago, real estate prices have really gone down and in fact many people think real estate prices have hit rock bottom. So in my mind, it's a really fantastic time to buy land and build your dream home. The reason is it's almost as cheap to buy land and build a home as it is to buy a spec home. And this prospect is really motivating a lot of people to go out and think about buying and building a dream home. So today I'm going to be interviewing a few people who are really going to talk about the process. An interior designer who works with architects and a mortgage broker who works with the loan construction process. But first, I'd like to take a look at a few really great single-family homes that people are building around in Chicago to give you a little bit of inspiration. So this first home I'm going to show you is on Altgelt. I'm on Altgelt and Wrightwood Street is right behind me. This home is really interesting. They are using the architect Booth Hansen. This is one of the top architects in Chicago. So you know this is really going to be a spectacular home when it's done. And one of, the, one of the things I really love about this property is that they took this old vintage building. This is actually part of the original structure of the old Northwestern Terracotta Company. And they're rehabbing it. So they're really preserving a piece of Chicago history here. The Northwestern Terracotta Company did some of the most amazing architectural masterpieces in Chicago. The terracotta that they produced here went onto the, the facade of the Wrigley Building, the Civic Opera House, and the Chicago Theater. In the back of this property, it was an open-air stables, and you can actually, when you walk inside, you can see sort of where the original stalls were for the horses. It was a carriage house. And with the windows he's created here, he's kind of repeating this pattern that you would see on the reverse side with windows for the horses. And then these awnings at the top, they're going to be awnings. This is, a, this is an architectural element from Booth Hansen and it's keeping with the character of the original home. The owners have to tear this wall down right here. The city's asking them to bring it down. But what's really neat is that they're going to keep the stone and they're going to build a new entrance with the same stone. So I happen to love that about them. They've been working on this home for about a year and they should be moving in pretty soon. So this home is on the corner of Racine and Drummond. The owners hired LG Development Group. They are a really top build design group. They come in and they do everything for you. I've seen a lot of work they've done and it's always consistently very high quality. They do spec and custom home building. They purchased a 50 foot wide lot. That's called a double lot in Chicago. And because it's a corner lot, they can really build a little bit bigger. This property actually used to be an old two flat. It had a coach house behind. They tore that down to build the home that they really want. So lastly, this home builder definitely chose a home style that fits in with the character of the neighborhood and the block. They have their own style. This is very traditional. One of the things I like is this sort of rough hewn brick. Gives it a lot of character. They also have a lot of columns if you look through the house. So it's a little bit, it has a sort of a colonial feel almost. And they have a slate roof. I love to see slate on roofs. And so again, they end up with a really beautiful home. It's their style, their taste, and they really did it the right way. Corner lot, good builder. So this last home I'm showing you today is because it's just so beautiful. I'm at 2200 North Orchard Street. I'm on Webster and Orchard. And I've actually been watching this home since it started construction about a year or so ago. What I love about this house is that it's very architectural. It's almost on a double lot and there's masonry here and then there's all this beautiful, I don't know if it's redwood or ipe, but you can see all the different levels of this home, all of the windows, and I love seeing a modern home like this that's very architectural and yet it's very warm. It's very dramatic with all of this wood. So another thing that they did here that's really smart is that they picked a really dense lot. This is called R4.5 zoning. And what that means is that you can build more square feet for the lot size. There's a calculation and then you take the square feet of the lot times the multiplier and that ends up with your zoning. Because this is a corner lot, okay, you actually get a little bit of a variance so you build a little bit more.
One more thing that I really love is the fact that this is across from Oz Park. So look at the location. I Really, in my mind, I don't think you can get a better Lincoln Park location than a corner. This is a southeast corner lot facing a park. I mean, it's pretty spectacular. So now I'm walking around the side of the home. I'm on the orchard side of the street. And another thing that is really great about this house is that even though it's modern, it really doesn't stand out against its neighbors. You've got a gray stone here and an older looking home next to that. And this home, a lot of times when you see a modern home, it really doesn't fit in with the block. And this one, did, I think, did a fantastic job. So lastly, one thing this person did when they built this home is they actually brought up land values for this whole entire block. When you build a really spectacular home like this, you actually bring up land values for everybody else, all of your neighbors, so everyone gets to benefit from your beautiful home. Hi, my name is Lauren Coburn. I'm a residential interior designer. My experience has been working for architects practicing residential interior design in the past prior to starting my own business. So I especially love working on a team with architects when a client is building a new home because having that marriage of architecture and interior design is very important off the bat when designing a new home. One of the reasons it's very important is an architect will have the expertise to lay out the home and draw the home and design the home, but an interior designer has the expertise in terms of laying out furniture, where furniture may go, where there should be lighting, how the reflected ceiling plan may work, where outlets should be, things that sometimes architects don't think about. And so it's very important to have this team from the beginning to get the most spectacular results. Hi, I'm Leslie Struthers. I'm with Guaranteed Rate. We're going to look at construction loans today and how really simple they are. And there's basically two ways to do construction loans. How construction loans work is that you can actually just buy a lot, find a builder, we'll give you the loan to buy the lot, and then once you find the builder, he gets you plans and specs. We look at those, we create a future value for the house, we give you a construction loan based on the future value. It's great, and you have two sets of closing costs. And you want to just know that when you're buying the lot first, because you're going to pay closing costs on the lot and on the construction loan. The other way you do it is you just find a builder and a lot. And you can actually give us the plans and specs up front, and we give you a construction loan with the future value of the house based on the lot and the plans and specs the builder has given us. But in this scenario, the builder's already got everything set up for the lot that he's selling you. Construction loans work like this. You only pay interest on the money you borrow at the time. So the bank will give you the entire loan, but yet you only pay on what, you, on what you're borrowing. Now, the great thing about construction loans is you don't have to make payments on the construction loan and house payments at the same time because you can build the payments on the construction loan in the construction loan. And finally, with construction loans, the rates are incredibly cheap. They're typically based on the prime rate. It's around 4% and it's interest only payments. The best part when your home is done. When your home is completed, you don't have to go through a refinance or any kind of closing and you don't have to be concerned about what the value is going to look like. The lender sends you some papers, you modify the note, you've got a loan on a rate you want and you're done.